You're checking out the Opie and Anthony Show. Louis C.K. in studio today for little Jimmy Norton. So the Oscars, uh, I guess everyone's going to be talking about that this morning. Are they? What a bore f- fest, first of all. <clears throat> the worst television ever. It really yeah. was. It, it's getting these award shows are just oh. useless at this point. They're no. a very dated thing. Didn't they used to give the big awards earlier? Some of them at least, like throw you a couple of yeah, throw you a bone here and there. It's and just sound editing and they foreign make, film. They make you wait uh, three and a half hours and then they just pile them, pile them Get up. The biggies that everyone cares end. about. But uh, Ellen DeGeneres yours. sucked. Yeah. And I kind of I think she's uh, funny for a female comic. Yeah, she's all right. <laughs> You got to preface it by saying for a female comic. Uh, a couple of articles written saying she uh, was. I was bored. Hours. It was awful. And I'm like, you know what? It's just time to go to bed. Yeah. Nothing to see here. I no, in those awards, the sound editing really. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't matter. I don't. Those people. I mean, I've worked in movies. Yeah. Those people don't need an Oscar. They don't need to make a speech on national television. It doesn't matter. Yeah, and they're you the ones that get up there. Send it to them at their house. You send it to their house. Yeah. <laughs> Just mail it to them. Yeah. Why are they up there at the podium giving a speech? And I love them when they're really excited and they're thanking a bunch of people. And can they possibly think anyone cares? Yeah, how yeah. creative can you get with sound editing? It's uh, You either have well, it or you don't. Yeah, and the thing is, like, what a weird coincidence that all the big uh, movies, the big grossing movies, are the ones also getting those. Yeah. Like, there wasn't some little French film where somebody actually did some creative sound editing that won. It's, yeah, yeah. It's, it's the... <laughs> You know, the Pirates of the Caribbean. Yeah, I bet their sound editor was amazing. Yeah, of course. They're just, they're just divvying up those awards just to make the other movies feel good. That's so, all it so is. So they invented these other awards like, all right, we'll get one for sound editing. Yeah. Oh, costume, all right, we'll get one yeah. for costume. So that way they can release but it and put watch it. Oscar award winner. Yeah, you don't know it. if it's the, you know best costume. That's all it is. <laughs> but what are the odds that the Pirates of the Caribbean had a, you know... There was thousands of movies this year. None of them were better at sound editing. <laughs> yeah. well, I bet they just pick it out of a hat. Yeah. No, sound editing. It around. Yeah, just pick it out of a hat. So in case you didn't stay up until, I think, uh, 1230, uh, good old Marty. Marty Scorsese. That's the big news everyone talking about. Martin mm-hmm. Scorsese finally I, winning. I was telling Louis during the commercial, he uh, he wins Best Picture for The Departed and Best uh, Director for The Departed. Mm-hmm. It's like... What? Those weren't the movies. If no. you wanted to give the guy an Oscar, Raging Bull, yeah. Goodfellas. They're just yeah. throwing you know. him a bone at this point. Now no, it's obvious. Just know that finally he's not going to make a better movie. Now, yeah, yeah, this no. is pretty much it. Yeah, he's not going to make Goodfellas. Uh, he, we were hoping he was going to top again. it before we gave him an Oscar, but now no. we just realized. Now, The Departed was a really good movie, but was it better than Goodfellas? Was no. it better than Raging Bull? No. I don't think so. No. no. They're just throwing him a bone at this Taxi point. Taxi driver, things like that. Yep. No. Sorry. Yeah. So, I mean, we're happy for him, but it, it, this should have happened years ago is what we're getting at. Yeah. Yeah. They decided to finally give him one. Uh, Forrest Whitaker, the last king of Scotland, best actor. I said he would win. Did that. they make a big deal about uh, him being African American? I don't know, man. Winning, he, no. His acceptance speech was at one in the morning. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what he said. He talked morning. about how much he likes acting. <laughs> oh, really? Like, that just shut up. Did he shut really? Up. He enjoyed it in Fast Times at Ridgemont. Yeah, look, yeah. All I know is Let's the other football down a player. Bit. It's amazing how this wandering eye crosses so many character barriers. <laughs> yeah. He, he he gained fifty pounds for the role. I know that that's much. Right. Yeah, that's great. That's really hard to do because you eat a lot. And yeah. You to Honestly, do. he was amazing in Last King of Scotland. He was, but uh, still, actors. Who cares? There's right. probably like a thousand guys that would done it just as well. Four tickets for Earth, Wind, and Fire, and Little Brother. <laughs> <laughs> and who was saying he was sweating a lot up there? You. Well, uh, no, no, in the movie. Oh, in the movie. Like in the movie. Oh, yeah, yeah. Of Like he had the best well, sweating in a movie. That was pretty great. Best sweating in a movie award, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Forrest Whitaker. It was Uganda. Yeah, but, you know, he's African. He's not supposed to sweat that much. And then we got, uh, oh, thanks, you got Al Gore. <laughs> we, uh, uh, we'll, get in, we'll get into the Al Gore in a minute here. Uh, best actress, uh, Dame Helen Mirren. Dame. Is she, is she a dame yet? Yeah, she's old. She's old. Mm-hmm. That means old. She won for the queen. She's still in that sort of uh, have sex with an old lady fantasy. Costume, Is she? Though. Yeah. Yeah. Like Judy Dench. She couldn't. You couldn't. Dame Judy. Dame Dench. Judy Dench. Get it right. Helen right. Mirren. You can still. Can still do. You can still picture her giving you a weird authoritative look <laughs> while you're doing her. <laughs> <laughs> you can still have that fantasy. Go ahead, love. Go ahead, love. That's why, yeah, ahead, love. Love. That's why we you're love pleasuring me. You're a sick one, man. <laughs> doing a fine job at pleasuring like me. In the bathroom I? of the Oscars with her Oscar on the sink. Yeah. Oh. 
Just, one leg propped up. Yeah. That nice dress. Go ahead now. <laughs> That's what I. She do. was. Uh, I, I actually watched uh, the Queen. Uh-huh. I was on the plane. Mm. It's one of those plane movies, mm-hmm. and uh, it was pretty good. Yeah, uh, she she did a good job. She actually was one of those roles where um, someone gives you an Oscar, but you realize you're just doing a really good impression of somebody. Yeah, like they've had those before where someone goes, "Oh my God, the acting!" It's like you're not acting no. to me is you you get a script. Here's a completely made up person where you just have to take words and a description and, and bring it to life. And now make it your own. Now this role is kind of here's a real person. Yeah. Do a great impression of this person. Right. It's like, it's like it's giving not, Rich Little an Oscar for the uh, <laughs> yeah for, for, for Richard Carson Nixon story for yeah. his yeah. <laughs> Richard for his portrayal of uh, Richard Nixon. Like at the beginning of the movie, uh, she should have turned her back and went. <clears throat> and okay, here we go. I think <laughs> this comes the queen is what it might look like. <laughs> <laughs> and then a couple of <clears throat> <clears throat> musters her hair up a bit and turns <laughs> yeah, around. Yeah. The uh, old Frank Gorshin used to do that. Yeah. Oh, how annoying. <laughs> We're running out of who, you know. Uh, we're running out of categories we care about. So, uh, best actor in a supporting role, that grump Alan Arkin for yeah. Little Miss Sunshine. Yeah, thanks. he's a grouch. Oh, is he a grouch? What a lost Oscar. I mean, it's just what a bummer. I mean, yeah. If, if any of the other guys would have been so happy, mm-hmm. right? But he's like, who is this? <laughs> and then oh, uh, you, you're going to win an Oscar. You don't yeah. watch out doing that impression. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> That's pretty good. Yeah, yeah good Alan Ark in there. Uh, the big booby monster one, best actress in a supporting role, Jennifer Hudson for Dream Girls. I, ah. I hated her because she said, uh, see what God can do. That's her first thing she said. Oh, boy. Because um, that's what God is doing is giving people Oscars. Giving Oscars Lloyd, out. Yeah. We talk about this all the time. The yeah. Super Bowl guy <clears throat> was talking about all the tornadoes. <laughs> In uh, in Florida, and then thank yeah. God for winning the Super Bowl. Yeah, I, yeah, that's what he cares about. <laughs> right, that's about good. the tornadoes. He wants to make sure you get your Oscar. Yeah. <laughs> no, because people pray and then they get something and they think it worked. God. Yeah, yeah. So what do you say to some mother of five with no money and a bad leg who prays and gets nothing? Sorry, I was busy. I, I had a, uh, I had a busy Oscar. Getting the Oscar. <laughs> yeah. And doesn't everybody pray? So what about the five people so that lost? Yeah. That They're, didn't God win the didn't, Oscar. God, didn't, God couldn't help him. Couldn't, couldn't help him out. I can only give away one. They don't no. believe in God as much as the it's guy the that won. As Academy what I, rules. Is what I would say. Now, I think God would override Academy rules and, like, everyone would win, but no one would find that suspect because <laughs> no. it's God doing it. Yeah. He could pull that Jedi mind crap on everybody. Yep. And if it was truly God, everyone would uh, be a winner. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Mm. All right. Uh, wow. Animated feature. I mean, come on. Uh, now yeah. Who re- saw this coming? Now you're reaching Happy Feet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I really thought Cars was going to win that one. <clears throat> yeah. I mean, come on. Jesus. Did they have a goofy segment where an actual animated character came out on the stage so and they show the audience looking up at the monitors because there's really nothing on the stage? <laughs> I love when they do that. They try to pull some wacky stuff like, yeah. oh, we're going to have an animated penguin or somebody come out on stage by the podium mm-hmm. to do this. And they sh- they they pan the audience and they're looking up like the little kids used to at Wonderama when the camera yeah. would go on them <laughs> and they're looking up. Yeah. God, the, why, no. why aren't they looking and you at get the to stage? find out how funny the animators are because the character oh the yeah podium and does like a Sally Fields impression. It's, or whatever. it's so yeah, yeah. hysterical no, to watch. No, last night they had the two cars in a fake audience. Yeah. Oh, is that it? Yeah. They they cut to the audience and the cars are in the front row. <laughs> two of the cars. Look, but, I didn't even but you, see it. But you look around and there's like bad acting. Yeah. It's awful. <laughs> oh. Uh, adapted screenplay. Oh my God. The Departed again. Yeah. Best documentary feature. Uh, did Al Gore actually win an Oscar last night? Well, his for for a, his an inconvenient name. truth. They said the name of that guy who produced it, but I guess he's one of the producers. Davis right? Guggenheim. Yes. Oh, but uh, Al Gore is like the face of right. the movie. Yeah. So did he get up and accept? He got the first Davis who Guggenheim made a speech uh, with his hand on Al Gore's shoulder, <laughs> saying, "This man." Oh, really? Oh, one of and those. Al, and Al Gore was standing there like, "I'm supposed to talk, you idiot." I was the vice president. <laughs> yeah, unless you Cigar forgot. Rich. I was yeah. like the second in charge. Yeah, for uh, 12 years. And believe me, I was first t- in charge was almost gone. Yeah. So yeah. I was telling Louis C.K. during the break, look, I'm not, a, I'm not a fan of Bush. I'll tell you right off the bat. But I am so glad that Al Gore is not our president. <laughs> That's what he. Did you see like him right at now. the Oscars last uh, night? Just doughy faced. He doesn't look like he's in control of his own body, his no. own brain, his own mind. He's yeah. starting to look like an old lady, like kind of a wide old lady. 
Right. Oh, freaky. He's starting to look like your your if you had a retarded brother, what he would look like when he turns uh, like fifty. He's going 52 that route. Years old. Yeah. yeah. Ex presidents are odd things because you don't really see a lot of them once they're out of office. Yeah. And without that visibility, the few times you do see them, so much time has gone by that you're like, what the hell? <laughs> what happened to that guy? Well, whenever you see pictures of uh, or footage of the president in his first few days of office, yeah, yeah, they look totally because they they all of their hair goes. Wild. Yeah, they all go like to the they go to the mountain and see the burning bush at <laughs> yeah. some point during their That's presidency. Some, Come down with the shock of white hair. Yes, I've insane. seen God. Why, and you think <laughs> something that happens? They take him to a room in the basement of the White House and say, "Here's what really goes on." All right, yeah. here's everything. Right. Oh my God, okay. that's true. Fill him in on all the secrets. <laughs> yeah, they tell him everything. Okay, first you have to drink. Some of Kennedy's blood. <laughs> so that, and you're gonna take. We're gonna take pictures of it. So you're complicit. Here's the, exactly who killed him. Here's yeah. the video of it. Yes, yeah. we had video back then. Exactly. Of uh, all. You'll, we'll take a break. We'll take lunch, and then we'll show you the <laughs> alien. And then you'll eat some poor people. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Eat poor they, people. Show the alien. I, we'll I like fly that. you around in the ship. Yeah. A little yeah. bit. Yeah. Exactly. And, <laughs> and then you come out, and your hair is white, and, and you just go and die, <laughs> die. And here's proof there's no God. All, all right. right. Well, you got four years. <laughs> Have fun. Yeah. Have, Have fun. fun with it. Just talk about the economy yeah. and make a war if you have to. Just anything. Whatever you gotta but do. just keep all this stuff on the QT because yeah. let me show you what happened to the last guy that yeah. said he was going to say something. Yeah. Oh, we even got video yeah. of Abraham Lincoln getting assassinated. <laughs> yeah, we had video back then. Yeah. That was us too. Yeah. <laughs> We spun that nice. And memory. here's John Wilkes Booth because we've figured out immortality. Right. Yes. He, uh, we have to keep him down here because he'd yeah. just yap. Exactly. That's a great way to look at it. They it is. And they find the white hair. They find the out. white hair. They want to run lizards for office. running the country. <laughs> there's, all this, there's all this excitement. You're going to be president of the United States. Oh, totally. And then they bring you down to the base. Do you believe? <laughs> wait. Wait, you actually think that the people voted you in? What are you in? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, come on, come on. All right, come get, here, get, get on the yes. elevator, you daffy bastard. I think this would happen to Bush. Do you remember after nine after nine eleven? First of all, he he shows up the first time on on camera in some weird place in Nebraska, looking yeah. looking like there's a guy with a gun to his head right off camera. Right. Yep. Um, yeah, the hostage then, footage. The next time we see him, he's crying a little, like his lip is quivering. Yeah. He's starting to, like, come unglued. <laughs> because they told him, yeah, we did this. It's just for money. We, did. <laughs> we ran the planes into the buildings. For just, it's, an, it's like busting out in a restaurant we for insurance. To. And um, if I could hold <clears throat> this up. Yeah. You signed off on it. Yeah. <laughs> so your signature at the yeah. bottom. And then he showed up with uh, a, a bandage on his head. Do you remember this? This was right after 9-11. Yeah, I believe they a, removed something. No, or, he had a band on it, bandage on his head, and they said the story was that he choked on a pretzel <gasps> oh, okay. and fell over and hit his head on a coffee table. Which, if you've ever been in a writer's room or any kind of pitch room, that's a pitch. That's people going around going, okay, how did he get? Because what happened was he said, I'm telling everybody that you guys did this. I'm telling them. And Dick Cheney punched him in the face and said, shut up, you little bitch. Play along. And then they all said, okay, what happened? A pretzel. Use the pretzel. pretzel gag. We're going to go with the pretzel. Yeah, and then Bush right. went to the mirror and started looking at his temples and going, it's white. Yes. I swear this was just brown hair. Oh, that's a great way to look at him. <laughs> All right, we got audio of uh, Al Gore. Uh, He's just uh, terrific. Oh. Just reminding us that maybe, maybe they did the right thing back in the day. Yeah, maybe. Not that Bush is much better. No, but, but thank God he stole it from that <laughs> womanly, weird-looking freak. <laughs> yeah, we, we were thinking that... Uh, He's starting to look a little, a little too comfortable. Like he might wear a dress behind closed doors with a little lipstick, just for the hell of it. <laughs> oh, totally. Now, are you sure? Are you positive that all this hard work hasn't inspired you to make any other kind of major, major? Oh, oh here's Al oh, Gore uh, with a little gag with Leo there. Oh, yeah. Leo. So they do what they have uh, to do, and then he's like, "Are you sure you have no other big announcement? Because you're, because you're in front of about a billion people. Uh, right are now. you going to uh, run for president? Well, there's rumors that he's going to uh, jump in the race. Announcement to the world here tonight. Well, I do appreciate that, Leo, and Leo. I'm Leo. kind of surprised at the feeling. I do so appreciate well that, Leo. Yeah, yeah Leo. That's what I mean. it just sounds like it's just <laughs> us. He's worse than gay. It's not that he's gay. Like, if he was just gay, he'd be like, all right, you know, whoever, he's gay. But he's gay. Just, whoa, Leo. He's starting to sound like he should be an extra Why would in, in birdcage yeah. or something. If he was president, <laughs> he would just, be like, 
Well, I'm really warning Iran. You better stop it. <laughs> Seriously. That look right into the camera. Not okay. Let me tell you something, Mr. Premier. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> the guy's looking at What is he saying? <laughs> this is gay. Is this gay. is all. I'm getting the douche chills <laughs> from this man. Yeah, there's something going on here. <laughs> no, no. If you put a wig on him, he's totally. It's it works. It's a totally tranny. works. Totally works. Like one of those bad like old tranny, tranny guys. Yeah. Hi, daddy. An old tranny, like the old guy from the Princess of the Desert, whatever that movie was. <sighs> like you put, well, you to put, take a when I, you see a tranny without the wig, you go, oh, yeah, nothing it's a tranny more. Tranny that's that just has done the ho the hormone treatment so yes, far. Yes, exactly. That's exactly. it. That's exactly. It. Pre op. And now he's going to start with the he's wig a and the dress. Tranny. He's going to start with the wig and the dress and another yes. month. Oh. Or two. Oh, he's waiting earrings. for the hormones to kind of take hold. He's mm -hmm. like, he's in that in between stage. Exactly, right now. his skin is weird. God, so I realized. I'm looking at him like this. Was, this guy was almost president. I oh. was the woman trapped in a man's body. All right, here we go, Leo. <laughs> Here's that Leo. Been the announcement, Leo. Well, as long as you're giving me a platform, I hate that inside thing too. That whole Leo. Everyone else, it's Leonardo DiCaprio. Yeah. Everyone else, it's Charlton Heston. Mm. But then it's you know, oh well, Chuck it was me. Leo. It was Chuck Heston. We were out at the uh, Sands. Marty. Oh, was about, Marty Scorsese. Uh, congrats to Marty Scorsese. You know, he earned this. The best one ever is Bob. Bob De Niro. Uh, hey, well, oh, yeah, movies yeah, with Bob. Bob. Bobby De Niro. Uh, fantastic. Oh. Even his even his mom calls him Robert. Robert. Yeah. I don't care. You know, obviously friends are friends or whatever, but in public. Could you no. just no? Not that's pull that makes that. people go Bobby. No. Oh, De Niro. Bobby De Niro. No, is that's that, is that, he related to Robert De Niro? No, that's just the a actor? <laughs> that's just a way to make you feel like you know the guy just a little more mm -hmm. than everybody. I oh, think God. it's a celebrity version of the name drop. You can't yeah. name drop it because you are a name that is dropped. Yes. So it's their way of dropping a name. Yes. Like we can't possibly say. Do you tell someone when I saw Bobby De Niro up on the screen, they would turn to you and go, "Hey, hey Dick." Yes. Did you just call Robert De Niro Bobby De Niro? But yes, you're friends. a carpenter. He's yeah, Robert he's to you. Robert De Niro. <clears throat> All right, let's get into Al Gore here. <laughs> oh, yes, please. Uh, Leo. Leo. Imagine he just throws everyone off and goes, all right, I'm gay. Yeah. <laughs> Here's the announcement. Been I've been amazing. living as a gay man. <laughs> I'm a post-op tranny. <laughs> oh, no, he pulls I'm getting in. a vagina put in next to me. <laughs> <laughs> and I pulls him a greeny. No, and Tipper is kind of headed into guy land, too. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah of, she's always been a little manly. They're right there. They're, they're crisscrossing as yes. we speak. Yes. I've been living as a gay American. Our stories come out of truck stops, and <laughs> All right. only it's at the airport, like Air Force Two had to land, yeah, and he had to go to the airport bathroom. He would have gotten away with it, though. Like, he, land, he lands the Air Force Two. This is while he was vice president. <laughs> yeah. I'm telling you this happened. And he would go to a truck stop and blow a guy. <laughs> <laughs> and then, oh, I'm sorry. I forgot I'm on the radio. That's He'd right. go to a truck stop and just uh, and, and he and would do, do what you got to do. Yeah. Something he he oughtn't to do with a fella, right? And then he'd say to the guy, "Go ahead and tell them the vice president just did that." Like, <laughs> see, <laughs> like see who's gonna buy it? <laughs> Could you imagine a trucker saying, "You know, the damnedest thing just happened. <laughs> yeah. I, I pulled my Kenworth in. I was in the I ten, and I'm in. I'm just going to you know do my business, and I hear, psst, psst. hey fella." <laughs> And I look, and it's it's Vice President Al Gore. I like that the trucker can do a good Al Gore impression. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah, that's all he does. Yeah. He won an Oscar for it, I hear. All right, here's Al talking to Leo. I do appreciate that, Leo, and I'm kind of surprised that the feelings uh, welling up here are actually have been very convincing. And even though I honestly had not planned on doing this, I, I guess with a billion people watching, it says... Good a time as any, so my fellow Americans, I'm going to take this opportunity right here and now to formally announce my intention. I get it. Hey, we're funny. <laughs> the cutoff music. We're funny. Right before the big announcement. What we're do you say, Al? Who saw that coming? <laughs> the cutoff music. You've been talking too long. Get off the stage. Wow, that's really funny. Ah, that's not set up. What do you say, Al? I was only joking. I was only uh, joking. 
There you go. You There's... notice also they didn't they didn't cut off that Italian guy because it, it's the conductor's job to cut the dude off. Right. He and decides. He's a fellow musician, so he let him talk. Let like him yap. Italian. Is that the old, guy he was speaking in Italian. Morricone, Yeah. In front of a billion people. That's terrific. I hope he just said horrific things. <laughs> Do like yeah. cursing. Oh, just <laughs> yeah. horrific yeah. things. Yeah. They can't under what is he saying? I don't know. Just let him talk. Do you know they were probably freaking out? Like in the booth, the people well, that they dump, could, the they know is, how much trouble they get into these days. What is he saying? Find yeah. someone that speaks Italian, yes. for Christ's sake. Exactly. This might be a little, uh, uh, we might be reaching for the, on this one, but uh, there's always been rumors about uh, good old Ryan Seacrest. Uh -huh. Good old Ryan. His sexuality. Right. They've, uh, they, there's been rumors around there. So we pay very close attention when he does the red carpet stuff. Yeah. And uh, he always has to kind of talk about girls. Yeah. He's, he's and it's not really convincing. No. So, th like I said, we might be reaching here, but we got a couple examples of Ryan Seacrest mm. talking to girls on the uh -huh. red carpet here. It's awkward. It's uh, the. I, let he me know what last, you think. Last time I saw American Idol, he was he kept bringing up Christina Aguilera's name because he just wants people to think that he's into her. And it's such an easy out, yeah. Christina Aguilera, because <laughs> she is universally hot. Yeah, who's yeah. going to say it's she's like, not hot? That's one, like, you could go back a few years and uh, it was, you know, Raquel Welsh. Yeah, exactly. Raquel right, Welsh yeah. was like, you know, Gina hey, Lola uh, Raquel Welsh. Gina Lola Bridgina. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Boy, is she hot. All right, Rock Hudson, we get it. She's hot. He really wants to say that <laughs> yeah. Morris Etheridge is hot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, here it is. Okay, bye-bye. Oh, man, I mean, it's like hottie after hottie. <laughs> the guys don't say oh, no. hottie after no. hottie. Hottie oh, after hottie. hottie but after Brad hottie. Pitt just walked by. It's just... Real oh, guys... Are we on? Real guys don't say uh, hottie after hottie. Hottie it's after hottie. hottie. Have you ever used hottie. the word hottie? Not Boy, hottie. she's a hottie. She is a hottie. Wouldn't you say like, piece, no. of, piece of... Hey, uh, you know. I really liked her boobies. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, guys like hottie, those, right? Yeah. Yeah. Hottie uh, after hottie. Hottie like I said, we hottie. might be reaching, but I don't know. So what? Uh, okay, bye bye. So let's oh, accuse man. him. I mean, it's like yeah. hottie after hottie. Good. The guys, Tom and Seth, and the guys here on the E stands under the camera are salivating. Oh, here comes Jessica Biel now. Salivating. That's like that's what we salivating. salivating. Sal that's what we say when we see a really hot chick. We go, aren't you salivating? They're <laughs> fabulous. Oh All these girls are fabulous. I'm just salivating. <laughs> She, and then he mentions all the people that um, were salivating, but he didn't mention himself. And no. then he and then he ends with, "Ooh, here comes Jessica Biel." Jessica Biel, like, another okay, well, complete obviously, hottie. Obviously, he's not gay because uh, every guy, even gay guys, think Jessica Biel's yeah. hot. I mean, come on. Jesus. Jessica Biel could be like the hottest chick in Hollywood right now. Right. She's a, too manly. You're thinking, fan? Yeah. You don't like her? In that goddamn Blade Three. She looked real good in that. Yeah, not in general. Just last night, she kind of looked like a lumberjack. Did she? Didn't see. Okay. Because she looked really good in that uh, stupid uh, Chainsaw Massacre movie. It's that neck-to-shoulder muscle that's just... Is, you have a problem with the neck-to-shoulder muscle. Uh, okay. uh, it's a little too built up. Yeah. But it, here it is. Uh, it. Here, here it is again. <laughs> at the end here. At the end here. Salivating. Oh, here comes Jessica Biel now. Okay. Oh, oh, here comes oh. Jessica Biel now. Oh, who else can I... All right, here. Oh. We got I've another... Heard. Another example here. Mm -hmm. Anne Hathaway, Devil Wears Prada. So good to see you. Good to see you too. Okay, I, I shouldn't. This is I shouldn't admit this, but I I saw the movie and I cried in it. You cried. Okay. <laughs> you cried. You All faggot. right. <laughs> the you cried. Yeah, the actor's like you. Yeah. You, you cried. cried? It's a dopey movie. I mean, Ugh. I'm ashamed of that movie. You <laughs> fag. <laughs> you, she goes. Jesus. She can't Did even help cry? herself. You cried? Did you cry semen into somebody else's <laughs> face? Oh, yeah. Wow, that neck-to-shoulder muscle thing is just bothering me. Yeah, you know what, oh, Dan? Yeah. I'm That's with you on that one. Dan, look at a nude I'm picture of Jessica Biel. Looking at Beale. a naked picture of her just barely All covering right, I'm up. I'm with you now, Dan. It's amazing that E-Rock got naked pictures from last night, because I was talking about last night. Uh oh, oh, hey. hey. Oh. <laughs> so is, you mean she's been working on our traps since these pictures? Yeah, maybe taken. she's uh, working the wrong muscles in the gym. All I right, listen, let's listen to Ryan. I saw the movie, and I cried in it. You uh. cried? <laughs> oh, she's laughing at me. I, I actually did. You know, when you when you come and you stand up to yes. uh, Meryl Streep? Oh, well, it's, you know, it's good to know that you're in touch with your inner emotions. I just, I, re I know. I, I thought, I I, job well done, I guess is what I should say. <laughs> maybe I should have just said, you really nailed it. <laughs> Thank you very, very much. Oh boy! Somebody should throw him in the garbage. 
And she didn't even say you came in touch with your inner woman or inner femininity yeah. or something. Yeah. Your inner self. What did she say? It was like she said it wrong. Yeah. yeah. It's supposed to be your inner, you know, wussy. Yeah. Your inner, else. your inner fag. <laughs> let's go to it is. let's go to Michigan. Eric, what's up? Hey, what's up, boys? Hey, hey uh, did you guys catch uh, Ryan Seacrest's Freudian slip last night? He was on the red carpet and he's asking all these actresses, "Oh, who are you wearing? Who are you wearing?" Nobody kept saying Vera Wang. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, he goes, man, there's all kinds of Wang here. It's just a big Wang party. I did hear that. A maybe Wang can, party. Maybe Sam mm. can get that clip as well. All right, thank you, sir. We got Louis C.K. in today. We got to take a quick break. We got a few more examples of Ryan trying to trying to sound, the, in my opinion, yeah. that he likes girls. Yeah. Well, you're not, <laughs> re you're not reaching. It's a, wow. it's a rumor that he's gay like there's a rumor that he exists. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> Is that a picture from last night? Yeah. All right, I gotta go with uh, Than on this. Now you're with Than. I gotta go with Than. That is a weird looking. I think it's the cut of the j dress. Yeah. If I could be. Uh, <laughs> no, no. What happens? These girls. They, they, she lost too much weight. No, these girls. They get trainers and it's like, girls like lifting weights a little bit is all right, but then when they get cut like that, that dress. That's just an they, awful look. There's too much yeah. exposed there. Like from the shoulder down, she looks like a Terminator arm. And she, I would still. She looks a little thin to too. Stop it. Yeah, and a little too thin. The the bone, a little bony up top there. And her boobies are set. And her neck. Bit, so you know what? And she's she, just. Still, all right, she's, she's out of the loop now. She's a mess. Let's find a new hottie. In I gotta go back to uh, what's her name? She had her day. Uh, I was from still the being island. very happy to see her. Um, Scarlett Johansson. Yeah. I'm not no. trading her in for Scarlett Johansson. Know who no. looked unbelievable? No. Reese Witherspoon. Really? She was looking dumpy and stuff. Had a couple kids. She, the the husband who you know what? There's rumors right. about him. Mm -hmm. So they're they're getting a divorce. They're separated. Next thing you know, she got her body back in yeah, shape. He looks pretty good. Show a picture of Reese. She, uh, had, that dark, she had that dark <clears throat> eye makeup, and so she looked kind of like '80s uh, Coke Hori. Oh, doing that in whole a, number. In a good way, yeah. There yeah, was look. a. Uh, you hear there was a, a. Hey, look, look. Here's look at what she's looking See? like these days. That's all right. She yeah. hasn't looked this good in years. No. Did you hear there was a, a stabbing? At one of the parties, really last night, and it was uh, Reese. Uh, really, yeah. Reese, Reese's husband, no, Reese's husband, no, right there, with Reese, Reese Witherspoon, with no, with a knife. <laughs> oh, my. oh my God, are you still oh playing? My God. It's one of oh one of the worst God. jokes I've ever heard. Oh, oh, that you heard it is one of the Who told worst. You that one, uh, Joe. Halfway, oh. Oh, my God. No, no. oh my, I tell you something. <laughs> I was only joking. Oh, That's an awful wow. joke. But wow. but use it. <laughs> Feel free. Oh, <laughs> oh, we have to punch a girl now. You made us punch a girl. Size <laughs> fourteen. Yes, that deserves a tasering. All right, let's get out of here for a little bit. We got lots to do today. We got to get into uh, uh, the the nudie pics of uh, that uh, fine contestant on American Idol. Our next American Idol, by the way, I'm predicting she goes all the way. She already did go all the way. <laughs> <laughs> I was only joking. Dan's disgusted with me this morning. I say you and do well. He should. I be. say you do bad jokes for the rest of the morning. Bad pun jokes all day. Oh, yeah. If I, have they a kick bad, her... I have a bad joke. Okay. Yeah. Where do you put a hair pie to cool it off? <laughs> Where? On the vagisil. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was only joking. <laughs> <laughs> My God. <laughs> If American Idol kicks this broad off, they're the, they are the stupidest TV show yeah. on TV. Yeah. <laughs> Watch their ratings if they don't kick this girl off. We'll get into the whole controversy in a little bit. We got to get. Uh, there's so much to do. Let's step aside for a bit. Opie and Anthony. Uh, good morning. You're checking out the Opie and Anthony show. In a little while, we're going to be talking uh, very dirty, dirty, dirty. Yeah, talking about. Uh, we're going to talk about the American Idol contestant that's uh, nude all over the place on the internet. Doing things, doing things that I don't think American Idol are going to be uh, happy about. No, they probably won't be, but... Then we'll tell you where to show. find the pictures and the videos and all that stuff, so... Good egg. What are you guys looking at, by the way? We were uh, looking at Pal Talk. Uh, apparently, uh, your girl's asleep. They're just laying in bed. And then uh, Lee Ann gave a little, you know, little flash. It's always nice. Thank you. Great way to start the morning. Yeah, why not? Uh, we got the Wang clip from Ryan Seacrest. So, 
We're going to finish up on this and we'll move on to other things, but uh, I don't know. No, 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 no. We like to listen very closely to what Ryan says yeah. and does on the red carpet. Oh, yes. Because we've been hearing things. We've been hearing things over the years. This is him talking about Wangs. Who made your dress? Vera Wang. Oh, okay. Lots of Wang. Uh, lots of Vera Wang. Been lots of Wang going well, by. I was going to say, it's, quite a, it's a Wang party. There's a lot of Wang here. How many Wangs have been by? Uh, a couple of Wangs so far. Oh, really? Maybe the second Wang. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, boy. Uh, just yeah. die. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I can't do no wrong though. He's like, oh, uh, he's everywhere. Uh, Guy is everywhere. I seriously think the cure for AIDS was him dying of it. Because <laughs> once AIDS gets him, it'll be like my work is done. <laughs> my work here is done. Yes. All right, now I'll allow you to figure out how to cure this dumb thing. <laughs> what? Uh, yeah. What the hell is that? We oh, get it, the Wang right. joke. Oh, All right, well, here is uh, some more audio from the red carpet last night. Just getting started here on the red carpet, Juliana. Now you're up on the other end. If I look this way, yes, I see the back of you. Do you see the back of me? I see the back How's of you. How's it look, Ryan? Uh, your back is fantastic. I love the shoulder blades. Thank you. Those are great blades. <laughs> great blades. I think you... She probably meant like my ass. Yeah, how's yeah. the ass look? Well, and uh, oh, that's right. That's where fellows like to put it. Guys like to look at the blades or put use the blade. How is that done oh, with a girl? They really hey, do. When it comes to a girl, there's where, no hair on it. Ew. When it, <laughs> when, it com, when it comes to a girl, though, where do the blades rate? Like, oh, as far as breast man, leg man, ass man. Uh, uh, some guys are blade place, men. Guys. Some guys are into the boobies. Yeah, mm. Then you got your ass men. And then uh, maybe uh, maybe some nice abs, some nice legs, nice I think face. Blades. Where's blades? That's not really part of this. No, it's part of the whole picture. You want a girl to have them. You, you don't want a bladeless girl. <laughs> no, she would look pretty. Yeah, that would look a little sick. All slumped. All back. like yeah, nose blades. It's you, it. you also don't want a girl so fat. That you don't notice her blades. I think yeah. blades are as important as elbows. Elbows. You don't want a girl that doesn't have them. You want to have on the, the elbows, lip. but you're not going right. to look and go, wow, nice elbows. I like my car to have lug nuts. Ah, sure. But it's something you don't go, I'm nice not going to buy that nuts. car because its lug nuts aren't very attractive. No. But you, you kind of want them. But she's trying to show off her body and he's like, nice blades. Yeah. Blades. Yeah. Ugh. <laughs> He's trying so hard now, too, and failing miserably. He should have just shut up about it. Like, everyone's speculating, uh, is he gay? And uh, the more he talks, the more he's just burying himself. This piece of garbage. Well, <laughs> well, the only girl he talked, girl, geez, dame, he talked hot to was Helen Mirren. Well, that's that whole mother thing. Can we gossip about Helen Mirren for a second? I mean, this woman, she plays such prim and proper roles in her films, but I think there's a darker side to her. I think that there's a little bit of... Is there a dirty side to Helen? I mean, dare I say that? <laughs> a dirty side? No, I think that there may be a little bit of a dirty side well, to Helen. You know, oh, my talking God. to? A dirty side? A fellow homosexual. <laughs> <laughs> uh, dirt, so he's, he's wondering if there's a dirty side to the old broad. Yeah. Yet he's just talking about shoulder blades and yeah. And finally, before we move on, I think she's uh, she's been a very attractive lady for some time, and I think she attracts a lot of men. Uh -huh. uh, and uh, she certainly attracted me. It was a very odd feeling playing scenes opposite the Queen when you kind of go in. She's sexy. She's a bit naughty. Yeah, yeah. She's and she's got a wicked sense of humor, and she's really mischievous, you know. And so uh, that's another word that uh, guys don't really naughty. use that much is naughty. <laughs> yeah, naughty. Naughty, naughty. Yeah. Unless you're into maybe a little role playing or Heard something. Yeah. Right? Naughty, naughty. Yes, Just naughty. A little naughty. Boy. You dirty old suka. <laughs> <laughs> you filthy. Who's been a naughty boy? <laughs> Help me, brothers. <laughs> uh, there you go. That's our uh, Oscar coverage. Uh, pretty much. Oh, screw. The, the, the two hours I watched, I I tried to stay up. Uh, they just showed Ellen DeGeneres on TV. I guess she was vacuuming. Was in, that a bit? In between yeah, awards. Yeah, was very clever. That's uh, As if the host stuff. would vacuum. <laughs> Why would the host have to vacuum? And was she making big, huge celebrities move their feet? Like, yes. did you move? Uh, was yeah. she? Was that the bit? Oh, yeah. Of course I didn't that's say the it. bit. But Penelope I, moved that dress. And Penelope Cruz had just not won. Yeah, I'm sure she wanted to be of part a, of this yeah. a bit. Now you're just some person in my way as I vacuum the yes. carpet. Yeah.
All right, let's uh, let's. Uh, uh, yeah, well, Ellen is used to munching it. She might as well vacuum it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, carpet joke. Uh, she was very disappointing. I thought she would do a really good job. Yeah, I, I, well. I, I was very happy when they said Billy Crystal wasn't going to do it for the 80th time. Mm -hmm. But uh, I don't know. I don't think. Well, I would I have think loved. Pulled it off. I would have loved to have just seen Billy Crystal do his. Can you dig it? I knew that you could. Black character. Oh God, that from was the a worst Katrina thing. victim thing. That's the worst thing anybody ever did. It is so awful. I'd rather he just go up in blackface and do oh. an old Jolson song Jesus. than do that old black guy character oh. that he does. I'm going to do a one-man play, and I'm thinking of, you know, I'm going to do the black guy. Yeah. I personally like when he does the sideways run across the stage and sings about all the movies. Oh, around. it's oh. genius. <laughs> it's unbelievable it's how he works all the movies into that song. Here, here he goes. Here he is. Imagine this, if you would. Can you dig that? I knew that you could. I can't look at you. I know. He did it on I Comic can... Relief when I yep. did it when I, I was on the show. Yes, he did. Yes. And I'm wait. I'm waiting to go on the show, and it's a live show. And he's up there forever, forever burning down the audience. <laughs> just I'm just watching going burning stop the because it's destroying my whole night. I'm like, of I'm course waiting. it is. I've been like running during the day training to get ready. To, I want this to be a great set. And yeah, he's just he's every minute he's halving the audience yep. watching. Yeah, uh, Jimmy. Uh. Jimmy said backstage was just people staring at the monitors uh. and kind of looking at each other like. What what is he doing? And Please, uh, you, why is it going on? Let's explain long? for the people that might not have watched uh, the show. He was doing an old blues guy. He does from, this from character New Orleans. that he's done forever. It's the old blues guy, and whether it's the jazz artist or the yeah. old boxer character, or, it's an old black he stereotype. Just, he makes his lips big. Yeah, yeah. Squints his a, eyes, yeah. and he says, "I'm black," and I'm <laughs> yeah, and then talks about hardship and how <laughs> it's just made me a better person. Oh, God. Oh, and it's awful. Uh, and, and he's done this over the years, and he, he did it at Comic Relief because it was for Katrina and talked about how he was a, a horn player and and just went and it on and washed on. the old club away where yeah. we had had so the many bourbons club. and so many memories. Uh. Yeah, but you know, we'll we'll bring it back because this city knows how to bring it all back together. Can you dig that? I knew that you could. And and when he said, "Can you dig that?" No one said anything. No. And it should he have was been... hoping there would be like a, woo, so he goes, I knew that you could. So he just said, I knew that you could, to nothing. It should have been a five-minute bid uh, and went on for at most five 20 minutes. to 30 minutes easy, right? Oh, uh, boo. And you're sitting backstage, boo. and now, now you've you got to follow that. As yeah, a that's comedian, the thing. That's a, that's a, that's a that's tough the thing, thing, huh? And the audience is going, die, Jew. To the, you know, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they're like literally turning anti-Semitic because of the performance. <laughs> Heil Hitler, you There's suck. There's all kinds of re Holocaust revision going <laughs> yeah, exactly. on in the audience. I don't even think that really You think really he's at the point in his it. career where he just feels like he doesn't have to work hard he anymore. He just thinks just showing up and being on stage yep. is a privilege for everybody. Yep. yep. Being Billy Crystal is enough. Yep. Bill and Crystal. Where he could no, just, I'm sure that where he, he just, showed up at the show and said, I'm going to do this. And everybody, that, all the younger folks that work there are like, oh, how do we tell them that this is awful? We can't. And he rehearsed it every day. And yeah, they all had to get the up there. And rehearsal and go, how do we tell them not to do this? Look, look at. Let's all just try today. We'll all look at our watch a lot. Oh, and maybe uh, he'll catch on. Uh, no, he didn't catch on. We got Bill in New York. Bill, go ahead. You're on the Opie and Anthony show. Bill. What's up, Bill? Hey, buddies. Hey. Uh, uh I, I called in under false pretenses. I've been up all Hang night. up right now. Hang up right now. Bill. Come on. No, no because you've Come called on. in under false it's pretenses, it's and it's never as good and as what you call in on. I don't care. Don't want to hear it. It says, how can you all say right, Billy what? Crystal isn't funny? Oh. What? It's, it's the, what? There's the reason you didn't tell the screener. No, listen. Exactly. If it was funny or entertaining, you could have told the screener any to put you through. I will promise I will be entertaining. Liar, liar, <laughs> pants ablaze. Go ahead, Bill. For the next ten minutes, I will be entertaining or three car kids. Ten oh, minutes. Ten minutes. Once ten minutes. What's he gonna do? Hi, I'm on the radio. <laughs> What's up, Bill? Me, I don't care about Billy Crystal. He's a douchebag. Let me be fourth mic for ten minutes. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! You waste of life. <sighs> Let me be fourth mic for ten minutes. Oh. To do what? <sighs> God, I hate that guy. Who's screening? Ah, uh, boy. One demerit. <laughs>
You get one demerit. You only get two before they have to fire you. So. Shut up. Good luck to you. <laughs> uh, American Idol. We got a dirty, dirty girl. I uh, love a little sexual scandal. Oh, and, of course, so this great. show is yep. so important. If they find out anything about your past, they got to get rid of you. For God forbid reason. they find out you are a human being. You're a th God forbid you're That's a 20-year-old girl. Of ha ha being a woman Yeah, is to... Do what we're do looking at with, this morning. Do things with penises. <laughs> now, everyone that is going to judge this woman. You either have a penis or you do things with one. That's the rules. So why are we supposed to <laughs> Well, it's pretty much it. Well, it's coming out that uh, Antonella Barba, she's the one from New Jersey. If you're Very hot. If you remember the audition, she auditioned with her best friend. And her best yeah. friend got kicked out, and she made it all the way. She's the mm -hmm. yep. she's all the, the way, right? With, uh, yeah. My girlfriend. Huffle, she's one Huffle. of those. She's like, yeah. Oh my god, I yeah. love her, and she loves me. She's fantastic. We uh, play topless together. Nah, she's a brunette with I'm brown just eyes. I'm tired of like fat people winning this thing. Because, <laughs> like, <laughs> woo! <laughs> it's like a girl's gone wild chick. Yeah, there she America, is. Right? There she is. So she's the brunette with the the brown eyes, and she's 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 Big an awful eyes. awful singer. She should have got kicked off last week. Her hotness has been uh, keeping her in. But her hotness is keeping her in. And now in. I yeah. say these pictures should keep her in. Yeah. Uh, they're going to get rid well, of her. Well, because that's the point. Her hotness keeps her in because everybody uh, has themselves a time but while they watch. You know something? So why, not, why does let, this make it better? It's the whole reason she's in it let is her because stay. you want her to blow your bum. Here's the reason. I hate this. Why? Everybody is a hypocrite involved in this stupid show. Everyone uh, thinks this chick is hot. Um, what she's doing in these photographs, it's everyone really, thinks is really hot. It's really hot. But they're going to judge, make this judgment that she's got to be kicked out because yeah. of what she's doing. Yeah. Well, they kicked and, out, and they all think it's hot. Do, just don't even. They if kicked out somebody for getting caught for uh, smoking pot. So yeah. So this this girl has no no shot of continuing. She's acting. But she's like not doing it. anything illegal. No. No. It's Where's the illegal? What do we know about oh, these God. pictures? It's great. And there are even like. Isn't it amazing that that's not illegal when you think about it? <laughs> it should be. It should be illegal. They're studying her birthmarks. <laughs> smoking pot and saying curses on the radio is illegal. It should yeah. be illegal to do that to a that's, guy. Wow. Really <laughs> and let him do that on your face. <laughs> it should so be illegal. <laughs> it's amazing that that's perfectly within the letter of the law. Do but, it as as you must. <laughs> yeah, exactly. By the way, they're trying to claim that the girl in these uh, pictures is not the girl, but now they're studying her birthmarks. It is so her. She's it's got so like her. she's got a small little like mark above her eyebrow and another one on her jawbone, and they show her smiling in one of the American Idol type pictures, I guess. See, and then they show her uh, performing, uh, not on stage at American Idol, performing <laughs> in a bedroom, and she they circled the same marks that she has on that left side of her face. She's so. singing into a flesh microphone. <laughs> yes, she is. Yes. This should be part of the competition. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Look at that hey, shot. Oh, hey, wow. With there's, those big doe eyes. Look at her. There's something you should see every day. <laughs> That's a fine how do you do. So, Steve, what Look do we know? Look at the hand on the back of her head. <laughs> Some disgusting guy. Look at that belly. Oh, I know. What a mess. God, the guys that women do that to. <laughs> What, so what do, we, what do we know about these pictures, Steve? Well, we got drunk Steve. at spring break or something. Yeah, they surfaced a few days ago. Uh, you know, the, again, like Ann said, there's some debate as to whether or not the girl in the photo that E Rock is it's her. displaying it's so is her. Somebody could have added those molds yeah. to her face they, on the uh, dirty pictures. That's and and that's the debate. So they're looking yeah. at other features that you know that mm -hmm. might be, be there's no able debate to here. Stop it. Why wouldn't it be? Like, there's more evidence that it would be. Yeah, I know. That, it's that, like, that it what are be. the odds that yeah. some woman trying to get on American Idol ever did that to a fella? <laughs> Always got to be a conspiracy yeah. theory to everything. Yeah. Someone's putting the the birthmarks on her uh, with Photoshop and then leaking that picture. <laughs> out. No, no, there's only one thing leaking, and she seems to be taking care of it. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> one of the rumors is that it's a friend of hers who she, she auditioned with, who's angry that she made it and the friend didn't, so yeah. the friend leaked but, the pictures. But this girl is a dirty girl, obviously. I thought it was one or two pictures that maybe a boyfriend snuck in the middle of this thing, but there's there's a ton of nude pictures online no, that people a, could check out. She's, she's got, got some modeling type yeah, pictures. Yeah, she's got some modeling pictures. I found a, a profile online where he's actually, she's actually interested in doing some nude modeling. So, and then she's yeah. got some pictures with her and her friends. That's really a hot picture, a little recreation of. Um,
What was that American? American Beauty. American yeah, that Beauty was, the by the way, pebble. the most. That was another. That was like your Ryan Seacrest. This movie was written by a gay guy. Yeah, yeah, and that's and what they want to say. That's what he thinks guys fantasize about when they see a blonde cheerleader. Oh yeah, when I'm <laughs> getting off to a blonde cheerleader, I picture rose petals falling yeah. in her breath. Rose yeah. petals yeah, covering all, all the, the dirty place. parts. Yeah. Get rid of the goddamn rose petals. <laughs> yeah. I want to see her uh, uh, without any rose petals on her. That's what I picture. <laughs> That's my dirty thought. It's just to cover up the smell. Ugh. Uh, ugh. It's awful girly. You need some potpourri so, there, girl. Yeah, friend. potpourri. They poured <laughs> potpourri on it. So where can we see these uh, pictures for the people out there, Steve? Where, where, what convenient location can people go to? Ooh, in, in today's links on opianthony.com and com. All very easy to find. Till the C&D comes. Thank you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and uh, the X-rated pictures, where do they come from? The, were they up on a website for a while? They are up on a few websites, actually. I'm sure yeah. they'll get yanked down. Yeah. Imagine there was a moment in her life where she was doing that to that fella drunkenly yeah. that she would have never thought people all over the world were going to be blowing up the side of her face and like anal and circling moles, circling moles, and <laughs> yeah, questioning the authenticity of these. So what do you think happens to her? They kick her off. Uh, they got it. They got to get rid of her. They got to get rid now, of her. But she's not. It's. I don't understand it. It's too. Um, th she's allowed to do that. Yeah, but not an American Idol. There's no. some kind of thing. I think you know the contracts they sign for that. And I'm sure there's some kind of morality clause where that's you know. Right. Oh my God, that's horrible. Oh, what is she doing? It's America's TV show. You can't. That's an American Idol right there. <laughs> yeah. That's a good girl. <laughs> wow. It's probably uh, that's probably how she got on American Idol. That's probably. God, Louie, I didn't even notice the hand on the back of her yeah, head. Yeah, That's a classic shot right there. Look at this slob. He's going, go ahead. That is a classic shot. Oh, Good one. All right. We'll, uh, we'll find out more, I'm sure. I think... Um, the day goes on Now, here. what happens... I'm not even sure when the goddamn show is on anymore. It's, when, it'll be on, uh, I don't know, tomorrow. Now, she was really bad. Awful. Are they going to wait terrible. until she, the America throws her a hope like they throw no, her no, off? No, 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 no. They are... Well, they already vo voted people off. They already voted off two girls, two guys. She was she was the worst by far, but because she's so hot, they're, uh, she's getting well, they're, Yeah, all the girls that stayed were bad. Yeah. I mean, they were all just cute white girls. It's mm -hmm. just this sorority thing. Yeah. Yeah. Sorority chicks are winning here's, with awful voices. Here's a taste of what Ant uh, Antonella Barbara did uh, last week on American Idol. That's insane. Just picture nude pictures, topless away, pictures, panty shots, rose petals covering nice. the naughty parts. <laughs> her uh, doing what she does well, much better than her singing. Let's hear if she's any good. See, that would feel good if she was doing that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That warble with some Altoids mixed in. <laughs> Oh, it sounds like she's got that hand on the back of her head right now. <laughs> Wait a minute. Too fast. It's like a country version Ugh. done badly. She's getting lost in the song. And she's like losing the notes. The worst part is whenever anybody sings rock and roll, they they make up a fake accent. Like, I don't want to miss a yeah. babe. Yeah, they got to be all don't affected. Talk like that. I, I just wanna. wanna oh. says I. They say ah. I ah. just wanna. I just wanna. What? <laughs> you don't talk like that. You <laughs> smelly whore. Uh, people are saying these are private photos that leaked onto the net. So it wasn't like these were up and she was like exploiting herself right. in this yeah, way. So that's why it was some okay. douchebag old boyfriend, Either an old or, boyfriend, or, or a friend, or one of her friends, whatever. So somebody can ruin your life by proving you ever did that. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's that's why they sh they they shouldn't be. A, it, she should be able to sue them for throwing her off if they do. You know what though? I'm but sure they didn't she, do, will. she didn't make but money. But they it. keep her on the show. She wins hands down. So oh come on! <laughs> hands down on the back of her head. <laughs> hands down, she wins the whole thing if they keep her on. I'm telling you. They should absolutely yeah. keep her on because now every week she would be up there, and you would just I'd have her up there, and then my computer. With those pictures yeah, right next to it. Yeah, that's the whole point, is legitimate people that you know have done something wrong with their mouths. Yeah. 
Fantastic. That's that's the formula. And here's a statement. It said, isn't it that your best friends or the ones that come forward with information that uh, are the ones that come forward with information that will go to Smoking Gun or put your photographs on the web? The show's executive producer, Nigel uh, Lithgow, told Entertainment Weekly magazine. Oh. So, so they have a little sympathy toward her, but we'll see what happens. What do you want? A girl that, like, you know, can cook? Yeah. Is that what you want? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, wow, we found out this girl's hobby is cooking. <laughs> Look at her. I mean, here's some pictures on a website of her actually baking. Wow. Mm. That's huh? what you want a 20-year-old girl doing. Right there, that picture. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. That's every 20-year-old 20 20 year girl's duty in America. Right. That's what you want her do doing. That. That's America. That's an American girl right there. Hi. Just Hi. do that until your face becomes uh, undesirable. Until your cheeks cave in like you just saw the Ark of the yeah. Covenant open. <laughs> <laughs> And then take cooking lessons at 30. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's plenty of time for all that crap. Exactly. Right. <laughs> You've only got a few years after you become legal where that's fun to do to your face. Yeah. Not right. Where you look up and guys want to snap photos of it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who's taking the pictures if this guy is uh, using one hand to? I think he's hold got that. Head. He's doing that uh, that uh, digital camera. Hold yeah, it a little hold further. it out a little far. Extended arm. You thing. know how people take pictures of you yeah. and them, and they don't have a friend. I think so. Like, the, yeah, hold still. Yeah, by the bounce of that flash, I'm saying it's the guy taking him. He's yeah. got one hand on her head and the other hand on the, with the camera. I forgot we have a photo expert. He held this. it pretty yeah. steady. It's pretty nice. It's, well, it's with a flash. Uh, <laughs> yeah, not yeah. it's not that hard. <laughs> it's not that hard. Uh, Louis C.K. helping us out today. Louis. You you're promoting anything? Uh, well, I'm in Philly this weekend, but it's sold out. So uh, where uh, uh, at the Helium? Yeah, that's a great deal. Wow. All, all sold out. Uh, I'm Philly, but nah, nah, don't I'm bother. At the Improv in Tempe, uh, set third week of this month. Very cool. And uh, then Boston, last week of the month. Boston, Boston, where? Yeah, Boston at the Connection at the uh, Bill's Fanny place. Hall. Yeah, Bill Blumenreich. That's right. All right, it's the Open Anthony Show. Oh, it's the Open Anthony Show.